from one end of Australia to the other, people are engaged in a multitude of activities which have one thing in common. They are all made easier, faster or less costly through the use of computers. But rapid advances in computing technology are making decisions about the use of computers more difficult. The provision of reliable, high-quality computing services has therefore become of crucial importance to Australia. For over 20 years, CSIRO has been providing advanced and general-purpose computing services for its own scientists and for other government-funded institutions. Now it has created an independent commercial enterprise offering its services to a wider range of potential clients. Now, industry, government bodies, universities and colleges can take advantage of the unique combination of facilities and services offered by CSIRO-NET, CSIRO's Australia-wide computing network. CSIRO-NET's impressive range of computing hardware now includes the giant Cyber 205. Australia's first supercomputer, the 205 has significantly boosted the country's capability in numerically intensive computing. Other computers will continue to be used in addition to the 205 to provide a variety of computing functions. CSIRO-NET clients have 24-hour access to a wide range of public databases, some of them developed by CSIRO. In addition, clients can have exclusive access to their own databases through CSIRO-NET. Worldwide links mean that CSIRO-NET clients can hook into the network from overseas or into overseas computers from Australia. Yes. The challenge in computing is often the conversion of raw data into meaningful information. The marketing consultancy Apasco uses the colour view system to interpret a range of census data. Is there any particular age you're interested in? Yes, 55. Okay, I'll stop it at 55. The system was developed jointly by CSIRO-NET, Apasco and Techway Proprietary Limited. Apasco's clients can add their own data to the system to suit particular needs. In this case, they are deciding on the best location for automatic telling machines. Joint development projects are part of CSIRO-NET's aim of providing its considerable expertise to help its clients reap the full benefits of up-to-date computing technology. For industry, that means staying ahead of the competition. For research organisations and government bodies, it means more efficient and effective operation. To handle the huge volume of data it gathers for the fishing industry, Victoria's Marine Science Laboratories have relied for many years on CSIRO-NET's powerful computers. The laboratories have installed their own node at Queenscliff. The scientists can also access CSIRO-NET using acoustic couplers from their city offices or from the network's regional office in Melbourne. The Marine Science Laboratories have their own computing hardware which they use in conjunction with CSIRO-NET facilities. Certain tasks are more cheaply managed offline once the processed data has been retrieved from CSIRO-NET. Clients' computing needs are often best met through the integrated use of the client's own facilities and those of CSIRO-NET. CSIRO-NET has its own range of peripherals available to clients, including plotters, a graphic design workstation, and high-speed laser printing. Information can also be presented on microfiche for convenient storage, film for effective presentation, or bromide paper for publication. The Australian Bureau of Flora and Fauna is using this last facility to publish the results of the Australian Biological Resources Study. The study of the flora alone will occupy over 50 volumes by the time it's completed next century.
The massive amount of complex information is collected, then entered directly into Sironet. Software on Sironet typesets it, producing bromides ready for offset printing. This process is quicker, cheaper and results in fewer errors. Sironet also has an image processing laboratory, providing services such as enhancement and restoration of images and satellite image processing. Linking graphics with large-scale finite element analysis on the Sironet computers is helping the Snowy Mountains Engineering Corporation to predict the effects of earthquakes on structures such as dam walls and towers. The behaviour of water released from a broken dam can also be forecast in this way. The introduction of the Cyber 205 means more economical processing of the raw data and production of the graphics. As a national resource, Sironet is yet to be fully exploited. Its extensive facilities and vast network are backed up by a telephone advisory service, a computing library which is probably the best in Australia, user group meetings and workshops, and on-site consultation for clients whenever needed. Sironet may be able to cost-effectively meet your computing requirements. Or we could help you to integrate the use of your facilities and ours. Or perhaps you can develop special software or systems in collaboration with us. Sironet is Australia's largest computing network. Our aim is to provide you with state-of-the-art computing services.